Name one of the nation's coolest neighborhood by Vogue. Characterized by its vibrant murals and bustling retail, Wynwood is Miami's destination for art, shopping, culture, and cuisine. Whether you're here for a day or a vacation in an incredible city, here are a few ways to spend your time in Wynwood. A product of many years of grand collaborations by artists worldwide, nothing says Wynwood like the larger than life art that covers every inch of its buildings, sidewalks, and signs. The Wynwood District in Miami has become one of the best places in the world to just wander around and see over 200 murals and various forms of street art from both up and coming as well as significant established international artists. And not to worry if you're thinking, oh, I've been to Wynwood and seen it all. Think again. The murals and art are constantly updated, refreshed, and completely changed, keeping things fresh and exciting. One of my favorite things that I love about Wynwood is all the creativity that the artists put into their drawings. And I love how, you know, every painting can have different messages. Like that same painting can mean like 20 different things and it's all about perspective. So I think it's amazing art and everyone should take the opportunity to come and visit and check it out. Being Miami's mecca for all things art, Wynwood District boasts over 75 exhibition spaces, nurturing artists and curators alike, and fostering the development of educational programs and landmark exhibitions such as the internationally renowned Art Basel Fair. With a countless array of galleries, it's hard to choose where to stop to feast your eyes. Speaking of feasting, the restaurants here have transformed the city's dining scene. There's really no other neighborhood in Miami that has crammed so much deliciousness into such a tiny area. Just within the span of a few blocks, you'll find bread baked on the spot at Zat Bakery, a laid-back cafe specializing in gourmet house baked goods, or the taco stand serving up Baja-style breakfast, lunch, and dinner plates made with corn tortillas, guacamole, or salsa. 1-800-LUCKY is a sprawling food hall featuring a range of Asian-inspired eateries in industrial digs, while Wynwood Marketplace offers a unique selection of food trucks and more. And to top all of this off with Stefano Versace Gelato, winner of the best gelato in the world. I must say though that my favorite place to eat in Wynwood is Dukuno Jamaican Kitchen, Miami's first and only full-service upscale Caribbean dining experience. The restaurant features indoor and outdoor dining, a full bar, fine art, and an authentic jerk stand outside on the terraza. The Dukuru menu features traditional Jamaican dishes prepared with a twist of elegance and presented with flair. As they say at Dukuru, come for the food, stay for the vibes. With a full and happy stomach, be sure to check out Wynwood's shopping game because it's on par with the amazing art scene. While famous for its graffiti walls and international art scene, Trendy locals have since pegged it as a shopping district. Take a leisurely stroll along Northwest 2nd Avenue and shop trendy vintage, consignment and thrift stores and unique garbs in pop-up shops. My name is Marcus Vargas. This is the Shop and Pop-Up Shop. What we do at the Shop and Pop-Up Shop is host other pop-ups. So each cubicle you go into has a different style, a different brand, a different designer. It is owned by Callie Ann Barnett, who is the creative director and stylist of Dwayne Wade. Whether you're looking for a one-of-a-kind piece or souvenirs for your visit to this incredible city, you'll find it on the streets of this neighborhood. If you're up for more, stay and enjoy the nightlife here which continues to rapidly evolve, keeping pace with the new restaurants and galleries popping up in the artsy neighborhood. There are lounges and a good mix of different types of bars and clubs, all with a great time to be had. One of my favorite spots is Koyo Taco. Not only does Koyo Taco serve some of the tastiest tacos, but hidden in the back lies a tiny club. Every Tuesday, Grammy winner Walsh of Fire hosts Rum and Bass, which features special guests delivering the best in Caribbean music. Two things you need to know. First thing, we don't smoke cigarettes in this motherfucking place. <laughs> Second thing, make sure you burn the highest grade ganja where you can find. As a matter of a third thing, light on gun fingers, ho, you salute a song. You don't say yay, or you don't say oh shit. You say ra 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 ra. Bust some shot, man. 
Another favorite spot of mine is Wind Carib at Grow Win Win. A monthly Caribbean music festival is held here and is guaranteed to boast great music and good vibes in a pleasant outdoor venue. If you're into Spanish music, then check out El Patio. This relatively new spot is Latin Colombian and shows its influence everywhere you turn. The indoor-outdoor bar manages to be intriguing enough for tourists while maintaining a loyal following of locals. By now, I hope I've convinced you to visit this stunning urban art district. If you're still not convinced, you should definitely put this on your Miami to-do list and I guarantee you won't be disappointed. YouTube really values user engagement, so don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment on this video. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.